So today I'm going to be showing you how to do this braided cornrow bun look. And you might have seen something like this before on like the Kardashians or something. But I do these braids all the time and usually I'll do like two going down my head. So if you want to see a video about how to do those, give this video a thumbs up and comment down below if you want to see that. But today I'm going to be showing you how to do these four braids and the bun. So let's get started. So first I'm starting off by just taking my hair down because I had it up before. And then I'm taking the sharp end of my comb and just going straight down the middle of my head, sectioning my hair into two parts. And then I'm just taking half of that and putting it into a low ponytail. So since I'm doing four braids, I want them to be symmetrical, so I'm kind of just tracing where I want the braids to be. And then I'm going through half of that hair and just splitting it in half again, making sure to create a straight line down my head. And then I'm taking that top section and just clipping it off with the other section so I can work with the bottom one. This is me jamming to the 90210 theme song. And then I'm taking my comb again and just grabbing that very front section of the hair. And I'm splitting it into three parts and I'm just going to start braiding. And the key to the inside out braid is to do the middle over the sides instead of the side over the middle. So each time I go over, I'm grabbing another little piece of hair from the top and the bottom of the section. And I'm just speeding this up because it takes a while. So once I get to about the middle of the braid, I like to switch my hands just so it's easier for me to braid down the middle of my head. And I like to braid my hair when it's dry instead of wet just because that's what works for me and it's just easier for me to grip onto the hair. But if I did it when it was wet, when I take the braids out, it's super curly. So once I get towards the end, I just braid it a little more than the end of my head and I take a black elastic and just put that at the very end. So now I'm just unclipping the other part of that half of the hair and then I'm just doing the same thing to the next section. I'm splitting it into three parts and then putting the middle over. So as you can see my hair does get stuck sometimes but that is just one of the downsides that comes with curly hair when braiding. So I'm just braiding all the way to the bottom and then putting the elastic on it the same way that I did to the first section. So now I'm just going to basically split the other section the same way that I did the first time and I'm just making sure that the lines are symmetrical where I'm braiding and then I'm going to go straight down my head and just repeat the process. So right here I'm just combing out the very front of the hair just so it's smoother and easier to start off with. And this is like a really good view of me sectioning off the front piece. And I just braided it all the way down my head and I'm using the elastic again and sectioning it off. So now that I have each braid done, I'm taking my entire hair and I'm twisting it one way and then I'm going to wrap it around itself the other way so that it stays in a bun and then I'm going to take the regular hairband on my wrist and just secure the bun by wrapping the elastic around it like two times. And that's it, that's the final look. That's it for this video, thanks for watching. You can click right here to subscribe to my channel and you can click right there to watch my previous video. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Comment down below what you want to see next and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. That was disgusting. I'm redoing that. I swear to God I'm going bald because there's so much hair coming out of my head right now. There's so much hair. Oh my God, I'm going bald.